Corin Ghibli president Kiyofumi Nakajima shares recollections of Princess Mononoke's production. Phil was a risky investment and could have put Ghibli in debt. The Edo Culture Complex Etoko exhibit highlights the working of Studio Ghibli producer Toshio Suzuki, run from April 20 to May 12. During the exhibit's run, pamphlets featuring current Ghibli presidents, Kiyofumi Nakajima's reflections, were distributed to visitors. Nakajima wrote about his memories of Suzuki and described extensively what kind of person he, li he is like. Nakajima recalls that he first met Suzuki, but he was still working in the Suzuki Bank during the 90s. During this period, he was put in charge of managing Ghibli's financial affairs, but he was still a subsidiary of the publishing company. Dokoma Shoten At that time, Dokoma Shoten was a heavy debt. He was relying on Ghibli to produce a big hit. Princess Mononoke was in the middle of production, but its budget was twice the size to the previous Ghibli films. And the people involved were worried that it would be a financial loss. <gasps> the production cost of Pompoko and Whisper the Heart were around 1 billion yen, 9.1 million US dollars, if they were of a big hit. The production side would make back around 2 billion yen, 18.2 million US dollars, so there'd be a billion yen in profits. And yet for the beginning, Princess Mononoke had a budget of over 2 billion yen, going to pre by previous results. Even if it were a big hit, it would just break even. And if worse came to worse it, it would have put Ghibli in the red. To make matter worse, the film had a complex subject matter, and you would think it was suitable for a summer family film. It's hard to imagine that the film, about the struggle of coexistence between man and nature, would be a hit. When Nakajima approached Suzuki with concerns about the budget, he was surprised by Suzuki's answer. Nakajima-kun, Suzuki said, Films are a gamble. There's no predicting the future. You wouldn't know until you try. Nakajima found this to be a puzzling answer, but had no choice but to see the results for himself. Sure enough, however, Princess Mononoke became a huge hit, grossing over 90 billion yen, 772 8.8 .8 million US dollars. After Spirited Away also became a worldwide hit, Nakajima recalls asking Suzuki how it happened. Suzuki responded, Every film director is concerned with making something good. There's no director who doesn't think that way. However, balancing the desire with marketing concerns makes things difficult. At Ghibli, he focused on making something good first, and then making people who understand the content of the work best handle the marketing. In other words, Ghibli handles the production, marketing, and the sales in-house. Nakajima wrote that he was so moved by Suzuki's words that he quit his job at the Sumitomo Bank and started working at the Ghibli Museum instead. Ironically, Nakajima wrote later in his recollections that he found out that Suzuki was actually a pragmatist who paid careful attention to marketing strands of pure 10 billion yen, 90.9 million US dollars, if the marketing spirited away. What he told me how about how there's no predicting the future and you wouldn't know until you try it was a bare faced lie, and amused Nakajima wrote. However, he understands that Suzuki is a kind person who worked pragmatically to secure enough money for the creators at Ghibli to achieve true creative freedom. This is the reason why Suzuki chose to create Ghibli as a subsidiary of Tokoha Shoten before eventually becoming an independent company in 2005. Nakajima wrote, When it comes to money, Suzuki has the heart of a Nagoya Sersenen Jung and Jung.